Hey team, welcome back to Ixion, where last we left off, we left Earth and Full blew up part complete. of the moon. Running preliminary diagnostics. Several anomalies detected. Multiple digital security breaches found within full jump routines. Concerned that looks kind of like Earth, but damaged. only Hull not so good. Compromised. Analysis confirms discrepancies between the mission clock and the apparent advanced state of the solar system. So I have a, I have a time we machine. We are receiving no communication signals from well, Earth. It's definitely no TARDIS, Likely that's for sure. The ongoing survival stands at approximately 7.67%. Activating Marduk survival protocols. New mission objective Survive. Survive. Ensure humanity's survival by finding a habitable exoplanet. Urgent issues I like that. It blots out the glare from detection. the sun. Increase food production output. Restore hull integrity. Seems reasonable. You could shut the hell up and let me do those things. Administrator, a new request awaits your attention. Administrator, the crew are asking a lot of questions about the state of the Earth. Munchy behavioral ag algorithms predict a decrease in productivity of 22%. Those questions go unanswered. Administrator, the tycoon, you should find some answers quickly. I commit to sending an expedition ship to Earth. Well, that seems legit. You may have noticed that the moon has broken apart. The crew are aware of this, and many rumors are spreading throughout the station. You have to make an official statement. Something must have happened during the test jump. Being such a high-profile event, it was a perfect opportunity for them to strike and sabotage our mission. Despite our robust safety measures, a system failure at the exact moment of the jump caused the engine to drag part of the moon with it into self-similar space. Evidence suggests a great deal of time has passed in the solar system. The moon's destruction is obvious the consequent of humanity's selfish. The nope. Trust in your leadership the buck is uh, stops here. The buck uh, stops right here, and we fucked up. If you don't like that, well, sorry, them's the truths. I can't really help you. Now well, let's get to Earth. Oh yeah, I guess we could get probulating. All right, moving outward, what do we got? Circle on out, where are you at? Science, science is always good. Helps if I turn on the probulator. All right, so that's done and out the way. What does the tech lab do? Increases the rate of production to three units every five cycles. But I gotta get to tier two. Tutorial hull. The hull gauge represents the structural integrity of the station. When it reaches zero, the tycoon will be unable to sustain, sustain life on board. Um, do not let work pile up. No shit. Batteries is basic. Workplace safety and trust and stability is basic. Game over, man. Game over. Or one out for Bill Paxton. Because he, he is literally game over. Sad. Sad as that is. No signals have been received from Earth. The oceans seem to have evaporated and the surface temperature has risen significantly since the tycoon was last in orbit. Atmospheric readings indicate the presence of strong dust storms and dangerously high levels of carbon dioxide, radiation, and microplastics. The blue planet will never again deserve its name. Head to the headquarters, head to home, search for survivals. Let's head to the headquarters, see if we can get any ideas of well, what the hell happened and also I'm gonna need hopefully resources because I don't have any 
and I only have so long before the ship decides, nah, nah brah, nah. Found a debris field. Found something in the asteroid field. Construct a mining ship in the docking bay. A science ship team has completed a task. A converted oil rig, which Dolos used as his state of the art headquarters, is gone. Only a few metal scraps remain. Scattered across the expanse of a dusty cracked earth, there is no sign of survivors. Can I just do this to where I eat up the science and then. Yeah, it's looking like it. So that'll get science jamming. Seriously, why are y'all starving? I don't understand. Another probulation successfully done. Wow, there's a lot of stuff over here. Steel mill has been unlocked. And then we are off to polymers and then electronics factory. Retrieved all data from there. So let's investigate the home. Uh, I guess we'll have you mining. Iron, Krakatoa. Well, that's a big lead boy too, isn't it? All right then. Well, it does wedge nicely into there. Sector one has almost reached its maximum structural load with more infrastructure surely needed soon. A new sector will be needed to be unlocked. Unfortunately, sectors programmed to automatically unlock after completion of mission to Proxima Centauri, the change of the Tycoon's mission objective, this restriction could be bypassed. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, that's, uh, that's expensive, isn't it? All right. All right, that's fine. We're, we're fine. We can do that. I have an idea, then. I don't know if it'll be a good idea. All I do know is it is an idea. And we shall see uh, what happens. Transfers, whatever. I'll figure it out. There's a lot of stuff over on this side of the map, holy shit. Food production currently is 125%. That doesn't seem right, does it? A science ship team has completed a task. The huge crevasse cuts through the ground where your home once stood. There is no trace of civilization. percent food so we should be good for a little bit polymer refinery done we are burning towards the electronics factory Cryonics up next. We'll just go around the ring so we can get to that tech no that more resources tier two. To I don't need 
a tutorial on population management. A new request awaits your attention. Science ship has done all the thingamajiggles, and let's look for survivors. What's up? What you want? A new sector has been successfully unlocked. All right. So what do we got in here? What are we gonna do in this one? So this one is definitely gonna be our space boy. I think then with this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my industry boy. That seems legit. And I already have a good idea. Where are you at? You're about there, I think. Or there. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Alright. Looking directly under the sign. It's inside, so I'm assuming. Here. I really gotta pay attention to that, don't I? Power restored. Um. Uh, let's go ahead. We got polymers enough for one more. Panel, because we need it. Just what it is. Probe has completed a scan. Does this feel like I can't tell how much power I have because it fucks with it? That should be sufficient then. All right. That's still working on things. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Yeah, just like that. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. That's good, they just need houses now, which is whatever. After a long search, we found nothing but rubble. We've seen no signs of life, not even a corpse. The lunaclism has seemed to have caused a series of events that participated the collapse of thermo-industrial civilization. 
The earth has become a toxic and arid wasteland scoured by harsh winds, now more inhospitable than Mars. The only remnants of civilization we found was a fallen stale steel where the city of Washington once stood. Stuck in a crevasse, it has been sheltered from the wind. A prayer imploring divine forgiveness and engraved in gold on its surface. You ever just look at a word and you're like, how the fuck do you say that? Remember I did that once in class when I was younger with a sycamore tree. I looked at that word for, I don't know, like five minutes just like, what the shit is that word? That was way back in the day. Somebody said it and I feel like a, I felt like a friggin' window licker. More power to the proby proby modes. All right, he's picking up the science from there. We are. What, what he wants? Mission reports from the expedition to Earth are being discussed among the crew. Thoughts of having lost all loved ones left behind has destroyed morale for many of them. Symptoms of this trauma have now been collated under the medical designation Dead Earth Sickness. Fantastic. Safeguard humanity, we must find survivors and increase the station's population. We do not have time to go through the classic reproductive cycle of your species. Adding crew member adding new crew members to the tycoon's crew will have a positive impact on morale. Cryonic stasis, a practice pioneer by Dolos, was in growing use even before we left the solar system. There's a very high likelihood that chronic pods containing survivors await discovery. Sure, if you say so. If you build it, they may survive in cryonic pods and eventually make it to the space station. I don't know. Definitely not a Field of Dreams reference that I've ever heard. It really likes to build that spaceport and anything but the medical facility that I would like it to build. need research. I don't need tutorial on cryonic center. You put the cryonic pod in the cryonic center, pops the person out like this is a fucking easy bake oven. It's not complicated. You aren't wowing me with complexity. That is interesting. The only complexity I've seen from the game is this logistic systems. It's an absolute fucking nightmare. That's not the good kind of complexity, by the way. In case you were wondering shit complexity. Stockpiles should not have separate designations like that. They should just be a stockpile because that is what a stockpile is. You're just conflating things unnecessarily to make something seem like it has depth when it really doesn't. The only thing I should have to do with individual resources is tell tell it how many I want in one place. That's the only thing I should have to do. And I, their separate sectors shouldn't need orders to go from one to the other. That's just inane nonsense as well. It's one fucking spaceship that has roads connecting it already. It's silliness. Your logistic system is silliness. Now we can pick up that from Mercury. closer one because we got to go up that chain anyway so I can just go out to Uranus and come down so we're not flying all over the damn place electronics facility why are you why are you that way like why are you difficult for no particular reason other than just to be
Fuck you. So, so hard. Fuck you. No reason other than just because I uh, love it. That's also sarcasm, by the way, in case you were confused. Bodies, hell no, we don't have that. No, we don't even need you at the moment. We still haven't built a medical bay, Jesus. Yeesh. Krakatoa can probably be sent over to here. Ship has arrived at its destination. Uranus. Our instruments have recorded abnormal thermal activity on Uranus. <laughs> Uranus. At this distance, we were unable to deduce its nature or source. Control, are you receiving us? We found a tree. It seems impossible in such an environment. I've never seen anything like it. It's breathtaking. Tree sheds its leaves quite rapidly, but they reform almost instantly, crystallizing from the branches. The root structure appears to sink deep into the planet. I hope you are receiving our images, as this feels like a fevered dream. Cut down the tree. Well, that's just rude. Well, let's analyze it first, at least. Damn. She, didn't want, she wanted to go straight into cutting it down. Whoever Naomi and her protocols are. see to you down there, transmission. This is me not giving a fuck. I notice you, I just don't give a shit. A science ship team has completed a task. After analysis of various samples, the tree appears almost entirely edible. Its roots, leaves, fruits can all be eaten. RNA sampling suggests that the tree is the result of an extensive bioengineering experimentation. Unknown how it was germinated here or who's responsible for the feat. Well, let's pick up that science first. Administrator, Ugh. we are picking up what? the Dolos emergency frequency broadcasting from the facility Outer Hope. Dolos protocol dictates that in the event of a major system failure, administrators it's must contact the nearest Dolos site immediately. <laughs> Uh, Dolos says you have to do this, to but Dolos no, lo no longer and exists. Required to repair the damage that the Vol engine has sustained. Uh, yeah, okay, Captain Cupcake. I think I give a shit what they say. You must be out of your damned mind. A new tech. We got cryonic modules. We got the pod people. All right, so what I need to do is I need to find a way to get 30 bodies here. Actually, there's only 10 bodies, okay. Might be able to manage this. Let's see. It's not going to be easy. Uh, 
How many leftover workers do you have? Do you have 10? Mm, you got a few. Get out of the way, woman. Robot. Camera TV person. Whatever. Whatever that silly ass cognitive test was. Alright, so sector one. Is dealing with all those. Sector 2 will definitely be dealing with these. Actually, we'll need to. We'll need to move those because I intend for them to. Yeah, we we'll just split that evenly. It's fine. Don't have waste protocols yet, so it's whatever. Since sector one is exporting the food, we will need that. Population transfer complete. How are we looking? Extra hours, not ideal. Four bodies, okay. So I need to be able to turn this and Warning. this on. A sector is being overworked. Which means we need 16 bodies somehow. And that's not even, not even all we need. That's kind of just the basic bitch of what I need. I'm gonna have to start doing this from the sectors. Otherwise, I'm gonna jack shit up. Alright, so we'll need that active, we'll need that active. Not sure why I'm building, like, I'm, I'm keeping these spaces open for docking bays. Not done. Get that done. Continue finding these spots. What do you got up here? Team has completed attacks. Eisenberg team has prepared resources for extraction. All right, now let's cut down the tree. Okay, now we can cut down the tree. All right. Population transfer complete. So. We can move the Krakatoa here. We can build a Grail. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna boop, boop, boop. Move the Pelican into... God damn it, fingers cooperate. Pelican into there. This is building the grail.
that was. Probe as complete as its scan and discovered a point of interest. What should get? Where are you at? Where are you at? Rail is second set of boy. I'm going to put down here. That is a name, Eldmernir, Hermanermin, Hermandergbergen. I can't, I can't even with that name. What is that? I can't even with you. All right, that's extra hours territory. That's no bueno. Population. Population for the moment. What are we gonna do with you? Right here, I guess. There's no good places for it. And then I pick like not even the flush place for it. I suppose it could take up just down here, right? Problem with this is it needs how many bodies? If a team? Are you uh, kidding me? Uh. Okay. So the faster I get pod people out, hopefully the more workers I have. Is what I'm assuming. Population sensor complete. All right, so that should be fine once that turns on. No, it won't be. It'll be off by one. Pay attention. That looks good. Let's grab that then. Let's do one of those. A science ship team has completed a task. When the tree fell, a plaque was revealed that had been buried beneath its roots. The tree was a collaborative collaboration between Henry Bargeville and Rabia Noikan when they joined the Ashtangites 
They offered their creation to humanity, hoping that it would erase some of the debt created by the atrocities of Dolos. Eisenberg's team felled the tree and have prepared the resulting resources for extraction. That's science, and then we'll be gone. Population sensor complete. Is this powered on, or is it still building? That's still building. Let's max out those. Why are you not transferring? Why am I minimizing that? Or maximizing that side? I didn't mean to. No, bring it back. Bring it back. All right. That shenanigan is done. Yes, yeah, that's what I want to do. Put all the raw resources down here. So any true resources are whatever. All right. So what are we at? Power-wise, looks good. Bodies look good. All right. Let's crack them out the easy bake oven. Cryopods. Asteroid belt. Debris field. Mercury. Mars. Saturn. I could go up there and do the main story. A science ship has arrived at its destination. We have detected a signal broadcasting on Dolo's frequency. It originates from a mineral extraction station named Stanford Facility. Theorize that the Stanford Facility will contain many materials useful to the Tycoon and its crew. However, in order to recover them, we will need to dismantle elements of the structure to gain entrance. A UN control center. Wait, a control center has been identified, but it's sealed off by a shutter with a UN emblem stenciled over it. Message has been written beneath the emblem in an unknown language. We have no idea what it says, but it's accompanied by a helical shaped symbol. Dismantle part of the facility in order to retrieve any resources the use of strategic place explosive charges the Heisenberg's team will attempt to access the control center I'm not sure how I feel about going into any areas stenciled with uh, DNA structures as uh, in space that usually means bad things are about to happen and people zombies are gonna try to eat my face just saying no big kind of big Probe has completed its travels. I don't see any more science bobbles. Completed its scale. Uh, bodies are always needed. Where are all these workers going? Over to here, maybe? A science ship team has completed a task. Does the thing try to like even up the sectors, I assume, maybe? Or is it just not giving me any workers? I feel like there's a distinct lack of workers being given to me. 
Matching the characteristic of Marduk Councilmember Philip Stafford, meticulously organized resource packets were found in the st for facility storage area. They've been prepared for extraction. Well, that's simple enough. More uh, bodies as well. Yo, I feel a distinct lack of workers being given to me. You do understand I want workers and, and not... just useless bodies right that is that is understood i hope yo why have i not gotten one single worker out of this entire pack this entire pack of bodies not a single worker it was just 20 non-workers Absolutely fabulous. The science ship has arrived at its destination. I think I built that food plant. We have verified the data several times and can confirm the existence of a vast debris field covering an area of several thousand kilometers. At the center of the field is a colossal artificial structure, which even in its ruined state makes the tycoon look like an insect. No signals have been detected. We have identified three areas for investigation. The core of the structure. Secondary structure looks to be the remains of a destroyed loading dock. And a particularly dense area of the debris field close to the other two sites. We recommend the utmost caution be taken when approaching these areas. The floating debris will make navigation difficult and interfere with communications. Eisenberg is holding the station at the edge of the debris field. A route has been mapped through the areas identified for investigation I guess to the core of the structure is where we will go can't believe I just got 20 non-workers no reason just meh whatever cupcake sector limit of 400 ish maybe maybe clicking on just workers I don't know no more resources available to mine or it could just be entirely random as well Hey, we finally got one worker. Two workers. Ah, ah, ah. A science ship team has completed a task. First visuals reveal a huge damaged structure surrounded by arches that have detached from their central axis. These arches show extreme signs of deterioration. Structure is covered in traces of explosive residue, collision impacts, and scarring from an unknown weaponry. After exploring a few areas of the structure that remain accessible, the team of the Eisenberg spotted a number of salvageable resources near a ruined assembly. Further analysis is possible, but will take time. Go for it. Analyze away. Now let's send the workers over there so we can get that iron plant working. Yo, what the fuck? Are you just not gonna? Are you not gonna just send the workers? Are you really gonna be obtuse like this? Are you done now with it? Are you done being a baby back bitch? That'd be great. Thanks. Yo, the rate of workers is so damn low, though. Why? Yo, for real. I get one worker, like, every 20 bodies, and they still keep... Do I got to set a sector limit, then? One billion people. Oh, 
400 and 400. How about that? You want to work with that? Population transfer complete. Alright, so that's that. How many workers we got? 55. Warning. And I A need sector is being S71. Alright then. Well, okie dokie. Ooh, that's a lot of bodies. After examination, the Heisenberg's team concluded that the ship was evacuated prior to its destruction. Finding uniforms and equipment bearing the insignia of different organization, it appears the facility was property of the UN. Strangely, a number of embalmed bodies were found in a secluded area. The team was unable to determine the cause or the outcome of the conflict, but have managed to recover further resources. Even have packed for extraction. Well, let's investigate that ruin or the loading dock then. Okay, so we need 71 workers. We have also food to consider as we open up the Easy Bake Ovens. It's not going too bad. As long as it keeps giving me workers like this, I'm fine. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Because what I need, what I need yet is... Factories. Right? Still need the factory. We need factory number one and factory number two. It's just obtuse and annoying how they put this. But whatever, we'll figure it out. Oh no, I don't want to build y'all yet. Calm down. I'm still trying to get the damn thing running for alloys. Which we're not exactly hurting on, technically. A science ship team has completed a task. Frozen human remains constitute the majority of the debris that surrounds the loading dock. Evidence suggests the area experienced depressurization after a structural breach. The dock itself has been looted, partially dismantled. Several cairns have been left behind, arranged in a helical shape and erected using makeshift materials. The team did find a few resources and have been preparing for extraction. All right, space cults with this helical bullshit that you got going on. I'm gonna need you just to not, if you could. That'd be great, thanks. Alright, so once we get 71, we can figure out what we're gonna do. Since alloys are so important, what I think I'm gonna do is this. We're gonna pause that out. We're going to build another space doodad. Thought I told you to pause. No, I just turned the power off. I'm dumb. We're going to 
pause that out. We're gonna build another space doodad. We're then gonna build these down here. We don't need any of the other stuff, right? Not as of yet, anyway. Although I do need a lot of these. So alloys, food, iron, electronics, polymers, silicone, carbon. Is that good? That might be good for now. Let's see, alloy, food, iron, electronics, polymers, silicone, carbon. What am I missing? This is just the waste thing once it pops up, but it's not that critical of a deal. Just being a little obtuse, okay. Let's just slide that in there for the time being. If I need to move it, I can. Moving things isn't that big of a deal. From what I'm to understand, moving things is. Okie dokie. Power is still good. We are now making alloys. Next up is polymers. The wrecks of the shuttles float everywhere. Most belong to the UN, though there are some bearing the acronym BMS. Despite the many hazards and potential psychological impacts from the presence of human corpses, the Eisenberg's team was able to locate some salvageable resources. Alright, so we got some science to pick up there. We're building that. That seems legit. And if my math is right, that should be fine there. Let's see if we can put some of these on. cleared up the debris field, so we are off to Mercury. Alright, 
Alright, so that's building. That no longer needs that checked or that checked. We're importing food. Science has been sucked up. there yet. We got the memorial thingamajiggles done. A science ship has arrived at its destination. Alright, what's up? What are we doing on Mars? An old, disused complex named Richter's facility has been located on the surface of Mars. The derelict UN-owned facility is covered almost entirely in Martian sand. Existing Dolos clearance codes can be used to interact with the complex's system. Caution is advised as the weight of the sand may exceed the structure's load-bearing capacity. Seems like something you might want to avoid. Why are you negative? Oh, we get a malice for the cryopods? Really? That's dirty. That's dirty. I don't like that. I'm not a fan. A science ship team has completed a task. Codes briefly reactivated the base's defense systems due to the facility's state. They fortunately overloaded and are now offline. The team of the Heisenberg did not suffer any losses. The Heisenberg's team will prepare any resources in the facility's storage area for transport. The Heisenberg will investigate the facility's scientific study center and try to ex extract any relevant data. The team will carry out simultaneous coordinated extraction across different sites of the complex. Where the Eisenberg team will extract the excavate the outer structure surrounding area to prevent unwanted sand incursions. I think it's probably the best idea, but I'm gonna investigate the storage area. For a hope of alloys, because I need them. My thingy is not grinding them as effectively as I would like it to. Yes, keep building the electronics plant. That is truly what I need. Power is getting touchy. Choo-choo trains. Neat. We managed to locate and extract a small quantity of resources from the facility's storage areas. During the final stages of the extraction, a perimeter team discovered a wall on the verge of collapse. They warned us before it gave way and sand flooded the area. No one was seriously injured. Very nice. Got some alloys too. That's good. That's good. Alrighty, so we're well on our way to doing maybe some stuff, maybe some things. 
but uh, I'm going to take a break here. So you all stay safe out there. Have a good one, and we'll be back to continue in a little bit.